free ride points, gift cards, and much more. And make sure to use the code MONK to receive an extra 50 points. Alright, what's up? What's going on guys? Captain Monk here in today's game we're playing some Shaco in the jungle using the mask skin. So let's go out here and get ourselves a Hunter's Machete, the Refillo Potion, and the Warning Trick and head on to the jungle. Look at the teams here today guys, of course. Yours truly playing that Shaco in the jungle. We got Jirasu playing that Thresh support. We got Ventus, yeah, Ventus Rix a 13 playing as our Kale in the top lane. Big Lays Donut on that Draven AD carry. And last but not least is Nathan Kazuki on that Echo in the mid lane. It's looking like we're against the GP top, the Blitzcrank support, the Vayne 80 carry, the Katarina mid, and then the Quinn jungle, actually, which I haven't seen in a while. I remember making a video of that, actually, a while back when Quinn first got the... I, I want to say a rework, but it may have just been changes. I don't really know which term to best describe that, but it's basically the change where they made it so that her ultimate wasn't like a super long-ass cooldown, but instead you could swap back and forth between being a bird and being, you know, Quinn. So, uh, it's cool stuff there. Uh, I'm also making a mistake right off the bat, not already sent out my boxes. Uh, with the changes in Season 7, you want to actually start with the red or the blue. You don't really want to start off with Krugs or Garomp anymore. It doesn't really work. So, uh, considering I want to work my top lane, I think sh uh, shutting down GP would be my best course of action. I'm going to work my way top lane and do that. So, I'll just set up uh, a few boxes here, and I'll go ahead and let him know. I think he's fun and basically just as strong. Because that's basically what I think. I think he's pretty much just as strong. Uh, there are some things I think about him that are slightly better. Some things that are slightly worse. But overall, if you're playing AD Shaco, it's more or less the same experience that there was before, I think, with him. And I'll go ahead and smite that and get ourselves our E. I'm not going to take out the Raptors because there's an extra two Raptors now. And they they freaking hurt, man. It's it's really it's difficult to deal with those as Shaco until you have your TM at. And that goes ahead and segues into something I want to mention. So with all the changes they made to the jungle, I won't go into the all the specifics of like, you know, they changed this, they changed that. But what I will tell you guys is that I've always thought with Shaco you want to get TM at in the jungle. And with the season seven changes, you that's like even more so the truth. Because with the Raptors having two extra ones, that TM at helps even more. And the Krugs, they split off into other small Krugs. And all that together, added together, I just, I really think the soonest, uh, the first item you want to get is going to be a Tiamat. Almost like every time you play Shaco now. Because I just find it really makes a big difference for you. And one thing you might notice I'm trying to do here is I'm trying to stand behind it to get that backstab. Sometimes I'll forget to do that, so you might see me do that throughout the game. But when I remember to, uh, I'm thinking clearly. Because <laughs> backstabbing is a big part of Shaco's kit. Always has been. And I guess that kind of segues into... Uh, the first thing I want to mention is that the change they made to his passive. So beforehand, it was just consistent. Like, hey, if you backstab somebody, you're going to do bonus damage. Like, you know, awesome. Whereas now it has a cooldown, but the backstab is stronger. And I'm actually going to try and walk in here and see if I can just get some free damage on this guy. He is going to let me get some nice damage on him. And he is going to flash as well. Okay. So that's actually going to put the lane in favor for Kale a little bit there. But the thing is, those mid lane died, which is not any good at all. So let's see if we I have a feeling Quinn's going to be in this area. She is. Got the nice backstab going. Pop the box down. Get the fear going, maybe. The fear is not going to land. If the fear did hit, though, from the box, that would have been huge for us. And if she's trying to take this, I mean, you, you can take this all you want, but you're not going to have a good time with that because it's right next to me now. And I might just smite this to heal. Yeah, I'll do that. So now I have a bit more HP to work with after using my smite like that. And Katarina's chasing me, actually. Not sure if that's a good idea for you. Go ahead and get that backstab. Maybe get the fear as well. Not quite going to happen, but we are getting some nice damage on the Katarina. She is going to flash. Kale? Kale did not react to that accordingly. Uh, but hey, if the Katarina's backing over here. Did she by any chance go in this brush? No. Okay. Oops. Make sure I'm in the brush. I'm just going to recall. I don't want to stick around somewhere I shouldn't be. I think Katarina probably just recalled in the fog of war over there. And, ouch. Go away, Quinn. Stop that. I'm trying to be unpredictable here and go a different way than she would expect. This might work out in my best interest. It might not, but I think it's going to be fine. Whenever you're trying to juke, always just be unpredictable. Even if it looks like it's going to be a bad idea to go the, you know, into their jungle like that, like I just did. If you're being unpredictable, chances are they're not going to follow you. And if you're playing someone like Shaco, who could spam stealth every once in a while, being unpredictable is your best asset. So there we go. Managed to get ourselves out. Managed to get Katarina's flash. Managed to get Quinn's flash. At least, did Quinn flash? I don't remember if she flashed, actually, but I know GP did, so we're not doing too bad so far. We haven't really gotten any, like, kills or anything like that yet, but it's still okay. So you'll see here I'm getting a double longsword. I'm going to work that in towards my Tiamat. I think that's going to be a really good item for us, as I mentioned earlier. And I'll make it so we can clear the Raptors and the Krugs and all that a little bit more easily. But for the time being, until that's done, I'm pretty much not going to kill those camps, because it's just not worth it. <laughs> There's other camps I can take. I can gank. I'm Shaco. I've got the ability to do that really easily. It's just a better way to go, I think, for the time being. So I'll go ahead and set up the box here behind me. 
and go and do that. So as you can see here, I'm going to backstab this, backstab that, backstab this. And you can kind of just go around like that, backstabbing everything once in a while with the cooldown being quite short like it is, you can see. But the thing is, though, is it's not the easiest thing to do, you know, repeatedly. You have to kind of cycle around the camp and try and get that doing what it's supposed to do, which is not the easiest thing in the world. Uh, let's see, mid lane looks like it's fine. Actually, Katarina just went in. I'm on the way. If this fight continues the way it looks like it's, it's going... Oh, Katarina did go out. Okay. If she stayed in, I would I would have been ready to go right away. Uh, I think Quinn might be around the area, because we don't actually have vision of her. If I was Quinn, I'd be looking to come mid lane right now, because bot lane is pushed up and their bot lane's back. And top lane's gone back as well. So if I was Quinn, I'd be on the opposite side of what I'm doing right now, ready to go. So I'm just kind of trying to think like I'm her. And seeing if there's anything I can do to make that good for us. It's going to pop a box. Unfortunately, she is going to Shumpo out. But we still managed to get her out and do some free damage at least. So not too bad there. I'm going to try to get the skull crab here. And there's Quinn. Just as I thought, could be on Miriam with exactly what I'm doing. The difference is though, she went with a different item setup. And is the skull crab even here? It is here. So set up our box. Get that fear going, because the fear will reduce its resists from 60 armor magic to this to being actually 10 of each. So that makes it a lot easier to take out. It's one thing they kept from Season 6 that I'm really, really happy about them keeping. And let's move over here. Our red buff's up pretty soon, actually. I want to take out the Raptors, but this might take a while. Yeah, this is definitely going to take some time. But we can do it sooner or later, right? We have two smites at the ready as well, so we'll be able to heal up. It's just going to take some time to work through this. Now I should be using my backstab more. It's just... I keep forgetting to. And at the end of the day, I think I was actually three auto attacks per little raptor there, regardless. So I'll go ahead and smite that. The big raptor doesn't have much HP anymore to kind of balance things out, which is kind of nice. So we'll head over here to the red. And I'll have our smite soon enough for this as well, so we don't have any problems with that. The box is going to help out as well. So while we're just taking the red here, I may as well mention some more of the changes they made to Shaco. So uh, next up on the list, we talked about his passive already. We'll talk about the uh, Deceive next. So your Deceive it used to be, I think, guaranteed crit for a certain amount of damage, so now it's just bonus damage. But I think the general concept is still the same. Like, the numbers are different, but the results can be pretty similar. After you Deceive, your next auto attack is going to be a bonus damage. Basically is what you need to know. And so that's the same. Uh, your box on your W, I kind of mentioned it earlier, you can't stack them nearly as easily as you used to be able to. So that's one thing to keep in mind when you're playing Shaco now, is that stacking boxes really isn't something you can do very easily at all anymore. So don't, I don't recommend doing that anymore. Kind of kills if you shake a little bit, unfortunately, but it is what it is. Got ourselves a Tiamat, though. That's why I went back here with a bit of an awkward amount of gold is because having that Tiamat is just so worthwhile that I may as well just go and get that. And it's looking like bot lane. I thought they were fighting, but they're actually not. They're totally fine there. So yeah, next on the list is the two ship Poison. So two ship Poison, I think this change they made, again, to try and kind of kill AP Shaco. I don't know exactly if it did or not, but I feel like it's what a part of it was. Because if you're playing AP Shaco, your damage sources, of course, were your boxes, your ultimate, and your shiv. And the shiv was kind of how you got them low, or you finished them off. Whereas everything else was, this needs to get feared, and there we go. Now it's doing damage. Can I backstab you? I can. All right, and I got my smite here in a second too, so I'll heal up from that. Even if it's only a little bit, it's still something. And Quinn's mid lane again, Echo's on the run. I mean, I'm on the way, but I think, yeah, Echo's already dead. That's unfortunate. And if Katarina sticks around, she just shumpoed. I might be able to sneak up on her here. I saw her use that. Yeah, she's pretty far back. She must have either saw me coming, Noah was coming, or just had a good instinct. One of the three. It's okay, though. Let's go and just push this mini wave up. Because the thing is with this, is although our mid laner is dead and that he's going to miss some of this, if I push this wave in, Katarina's going to miss just as much, and I'm going to get ahead. And because Quinn's bottom, she's going to miss this too. And I missed the siege. Speaking of missing things, god damn it, that sucks. And our team's actually 0-6 right now. We're having a really rough start. I do not want to fight you right now. But if you're going to go into my boxes like this, that changes things a little bit. Barely. We got him, though. Our clone helps us out a little bit there on that one. And Quinn actually had a lot more items than us, too, in that scenario. But we still had the upper hand somehow, some way. I think she figured out as well which one was the real shake and which one was the fake one. And that might have gotten us killed, but it didn't quite. I'll go ahead and use our... I don't even know what those things are called, it's explosive plants, I'm going to go ahead and call them, to hop over that wall like that, and go ahead and use this as well. But yeah, you'll notice you're maxing the E first, and it's still the way I think you want to go. And once the camp gets low enough, or the, ch or the champion, or whatever it is you're hitting, that missing health damage is really strong, so I do find maxing the E is still the way to go, AP or AD. But I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be talking most about AD Shaco, because that's what we're playing here today, so if I ever don't specify, just assume I'm talking about AD Shaco. But yeah, so I think... With them changing the damage on it, making it kind of weaker, but make it so that it does missing health damage, it pretty much makes it an execute. And if I can not die to these, that'd be swell. I need to 
freaking get out of here. <laughs> I'm gonna die to these for crying out loud. The Raptors, man, they tear you apart. They tear you a new one every time I fight them, it seems. And it looks like top lane's gonna go down as well. That's unfortunate. I wish I was healthy enough to go and take Dragon or something. Make something happen, right? But I'm just not in a position to do that right now, which is unfortunate. But I got myself a longsword. Ourselves a longsword, excuse me, and a, some boots. And also our Stalker's Blade. I do like the Stalker's Blade, and especially against their team comp where they've got like Vayne and Quinn two ranged champions who are going to try and kite us. I think it's going to be really good for us, and hopefully Echo can make it work here. Looks like he's not going to be able to get the kill there, but he is going to be able to get out safely, so that's really, really good. But yeah, Quinn's just all over the place right now, and I wish I could keep up with that, but with her being Quinn and having that bird form, her Valor, she's just all over the place, and it's tough to keep up with. But I think as the game progresses here and our farming gets a little bit easier, I think we'll have an easy time catching up. So yeah, I think if you're playing AD Shaco, your ease damage is a lot lower if they're high HP, but if they're really, really low on HP and you get that missing health damage coming in, it's pretty damn strong. Let's go and help this wall here. I don't think she knows I'm here, but she might. And I'll go ahead and just pop that shiv on her. I was going to do some TMAT damage too, but that's not quite going to happen. Echo's looking to push the lane up here. I think maybe he wants to go back. I'm not really sure what his plan is, but he used the Q first. He's the one who started the shove, so I'll go ahead and just help him with that. And it's looking like top lane's in a... Okay, you know, I think top lane's actually in a spot where it's behind, but I could still help it. And actually, Kale's getting ganked here. If she can stall, I'm on the way. She's used her ult. She didn't ult there. That would have been the time to ult right, right when Quinn came in. I think she realizes that too. That's okay. Let's go ahead here and just take out the Gromp next. Yeah, that's one thing about my Shaco play I think I want to work on. is I want to be better at pressuring the map early game to make sure my teams, my lanes are all winning instead of farming as much as I have been. But unfortunately... I'm not a pro, man. I'm not that good at this game. I make mistakes. But at least I recognize them. That's the key to getting better, right? Knowing what your mistakes are and avoiding the box there, actually, or the barrel, I should say, or powder keg, or whatever it is. And get this minute back. Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty much just holding the wave for Kale here. Cause I, oh, I see she has TP, but she's not actually using it. Probably because I'm holding it for her, so she'll come back here. Maybe we'll kill GP then. Maybe we'll kill him later on, and that's going to hurt. Holy crap, look at that damage. Half my HP gone, just like that. But let's go ahead and pop right back into the fight here, because Kale's here with us. Might be able to get some damage done. Doesn't look like it, but we got some free damage on the GP. He traded back, but it's, I think, still in our best interest. And Echo's actually on the run here from Quinn. If he gets a kill here, that'd be really, really great, but I don't think he's going to be able to do it, because Quinn avoided the second part of his Q damage. He is going to ult back, but it's not quite going to hit Quinn. I'm going to hop the wall here in hopes of pursuing Quinn. Doesn't look like we're going to be able to find her here. She's still on the run. But if I can keep moving across... This flex queue is fucked, by the way. Yeah, I haven't been playing ranked since the season ended, so... I'm not surprised. And there's a ward that just got placed. Go and get some few hits in it, may as well, but it's going to disappear, of course. So let's head over here to the red buff and take that next, I think. But yeah, I guess I may as well mention some of the jungle camp changes. I mean, obviously you guys have seen the Raptors, the Krugs, how those are different. Uh, red and blue buff don't have uh, a second little monster next to them. There's just the buff itself on its own, which is kind of interesting. And Quinn's taking the Scuttlecrab, and that's going to take her some time. So let's go ahead and see if we can catch her here. Get that nice backstab going off. And which way did she flash? Sorry, but I'm not going to let you live. I, it's worth using my flash. And that actually segues into the next thing I wanted to mention here. Is a lot of people like to go on Ignite on Shaco. I'm not a fan of this, and the reason I'm not a fan of it is because Flash is just so, so good. There's never been a part of me that's been like, oh, I don't do enough damage on Shaco, and I, I'm so weak, I don't do enough damage, I need Ignite to make sure I get kills. Right? Like, I, I get the concept of why it is people do it, it's because your Q has a blink to it, so it's kind of like a mini Flash. But if you combine the two together, you just have so much mobility, and I like that. I really, really like that. It's kind of the same thing with Katarina. People are like, oh, she's got a Shumpo, she doesn't need Flash. But she totally does. Because if you combine the two, it's so much mobility. It's really strong. And I see Shaco being the same way. I, I could rationalize getting Ghost on Shaco even. Because it's pretty freaking good on Shaco. But Flash just... It creates so many opportunities that I really like having. So I like having Flash for sure. But I understand entirely if people want to go with Ghost or Flash or Ignite. Even Exhaust. Like, it's really up to you. And I don't know if Kate or Cat knows I'm here or not. But we're going to finish her off with that. And actually... That works, okay. <laughs> That's not how I thought that kill was going to go. I thought I was going to finish off with the shiv. I did less damage than I expected. I thought my smite might be, be the final kill uh, factor, but it wasn't. But it was, in fact, Echo who managed to get the kill, and that's awesome. So I'm just going to take the little raptors here. And the reason I'm doing this is because I'm confident that if Quinn finds me here, I can just get out. And she's not here. Yeah. See, that's the thing. With with uh, Katarina being down, I, did, I feel like if Quinn was to show up there, I would easily be able to just use my stealth, my deceive, and just get out. So I would have no problems. And my box did not get the scuttle crab. 
CC'd, and my skull crap is just is going the complete opposite direction of where I have my box set up. You dingus, making my life difficult. And it looks like bot lane is having a really rough game. Unfortunately, with the way the bot lane is going right now, it's just one of those games where I feel like I want to help, but there's just so much uh, gold extra for Vayne than there is for our bot lane that I think 3v2 we'd lose. And when it gets to that point, it's just like, I may as well just help out which lanes are winning and do what I can to make the game doable. Because I think, I think Echo can still get back in this game pretty easily against Katarina. I think GP is going to be a problem, unfortunately. But yeah, I don't, I don't think there's really much we could have done bot lane, unfortunately, with the way the game was laid out. They were pushed so much of the game that there's all, all I could really do is counter gank, and Quinn was ahead of me, so it makes things tricky. And if Echo could just keep putting the waves up, that'd be really good. I'm getting pretty strong, so if I just keep farming here and keep myself fed, I'm just going to have to smite this to keep myself alive. There we go. Yeah, there's one piece of advice I can give to any of you guys who are playing ranked and find yourself jungling and having all your lanes lose, is if your lanes are all losing, build damage. Because that way, when they do come into your jungle, you can tell them to fuck right off by killing them right as soon as they enter your jungle. And you can see I'm really farmed and I'm really, really strong this game. So if they try to push their advantage and push into my jungle, they're probably going to yeah, have a rude awakening. And that'll be good for us. And look at their team here. They don't really have that many slows or... Actually, they're pretty auto-attack reliant. So maybe Ninja Tabby is the way to go this game. I think it is. The thing is with Shaco, man, is I really don't know what boots to go with. I feel like mobility boots have their pros, but when you're in battle, I want to be fast enough to keep, you know, keep up so I can auto-attack people, so I don't really like running with that unless I'm smiting that person, but, you know, smite's cooldowns increase, so it's not that reliable of a slow to have all the time. And it looks like we're going to lose Thresh there again. That's no good. Uh, if GP's on his own, I think I can actually kill this guy, but if, only if he sticks around on his own. It looks like mid lane's got people rotating. And GP is still pressuring here, so I think this should be a kill for me. Provided he hasn't killed a turret before I get there. So let's blink the corner here and get over here. And this should work for us. Unfortunately, my box didn't actually fear him, but I've got the ward in the brush here. We've got our shiv here in a moment. There it is, nice. Yeah, the shiv isn't executed, of course. Keep that in mind. So when they get low, as long as you're staying in range to throw your shiv out, you should be able to get the kills pretty easily. So I managed to do exactly that. And let's go ahead and just keep hitting this and finish it off with the shiv. 624 damage. So you can see that that missing health really starting to hurt. And that's really what you want. And I guess I may as well get this honey fruit. Why not, right? I'll pick up all these so no one else does on their team or something like that. And let's see. Alright, Blitzcrank's looking for something on Thresh. I'm thinking I might be able to hello. Actually, there's a, cat, there's a gank going on here. If we set this up right here, this would be really good. Come on, walk into, the, walk into this area. Alright, they're not... They're not being that courageous. I was hoping they would walk over to the box here, get feared, and then me and Echo could turn it around. Just didn't quite go that way. But that's okay. And actually, Blitzcrank's here as well. Holy crap, they really want this Echo. I don't know what that's all about, but it is what it is. I'm just going to hang out in this brush, though, until they give me a reason to go in. And Quinn's actually going to be walking right into my box. Yeah, take that free damage. How do you like it? <laughs> so now Quinn's out of the fight, because she's just way too low to compete anymore. And I'm thinking their red buff might actually be up, because it shows it on the map, and I've seen it quite recently. It's not actually up. Damn. I thought I saw it recently enough that it might be up, and I'm going to see if we can actually dive GP. Because Kale does have ult, and GP is alone. I know that for a fact. Quinn's not here. So there we go. There's the kill onto GP. He's going to go down for the count. See you later, friend. And actually, maybe it makes sense for us to get this turret here. So I'll go ahead and just walk up a little bit further, see if I can find Quinn over here. Doesn't look like I'm going to, so let's go ahead and just take her stuff. Smite that. Get these little ones. And go from there. Because once Kale pushes that wave up, I think me and her can take that turret. And actually, Quinn's there. Uh, will I be there in time to save her? It looks like I might just... Nope, she is going to go down. But yeah, Quinn doesn't have her alt activated right now. And I bet you she's going to go for that minion wave. Oh, hello. Found her. And now she's out of bird form. This is really good for us. I'm blinded, but I think I still have the damage. Yeah, I still could take her out. She's she's gone. See you later, Quinn. Okay. So with that, GP's probably going to come back to lane here, but I am Shaco. I can't escape if need be. And that turret's really low. I think the best thing I could do for Kale right now is actually try and finish this turret off for her. She'll still get some gold for it. All of our team will. But it'll help everybody out. And I'll make it so the top lane doesn't need to be attended to as much anymore. And Kale can roam. And that'll make it so Kale can maybe catch up. Because going to lane against this GP does not seem to be helping her anymore. It seems to just be hurting her. Then again, GP can push the waves exceptionally fast. So he might just take her turret if she doesn't come back to lane. Which is unfortunate. We got ourselves our Hydra now, though, which is really nice. I really like the Hydra on Shaco, as I find it. it gives you a little bit more damage. It gives you a little bit more uh, lifesteal. 
and of course you still have that same active and passive and all that that you had before with the Tiamat, just a little bit stronger, I think. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's all good stuff to have. And I really like it because, uh, well, I mean, a lot of people like Titanic Hydra I've been finding on Shaco. I don't find myself liking that so much because Shaco is not really a tank. And so Titanic Hydra, I mean, you don't need to build full tank after you get that item. But if you want to be effective, you, you, I recommend it. Right? I recommend you get some HP. But with Shaco, he just doesn't really excel building that way. He excels, you know, in the past, building AP or AD. Nowadays, I feel like he's only really an AD jungler. And that hook, unfortunately, not quite going to hit the Blitzcrank there. That's unfortunate. Uh, I just noticed, man, I'm five kills and our team's really, really having a rough game this game. But I think this is still doable. We just got to make sure we play our cards right. And I think we can get our team back in the game. Because it is a Draven. If he gets a few kills, he cashes in, he's caught up. And his farm's not that far behind. Right? And mid lane, I mean, Echo's still a really strong champion. It looks like he's not too far behind either. And it looks like Kale's just really having a hard time up top. But if she gets her ult off and does some damage to GP, I can finish him off and get the double. So I'll smite him. And I'll come in here for the Quinn. It sucks that Kale died before I could save her. But still, we get the double kill and Kale gets two assists. I feel really bad that I couldn't save her, though. I'm gonna run mid lane, though. Oops. Sorry, I couldn't save you. But uh, I think if we kill these two here, focus the Vayne and the Katarina, I mean, it's a 4v3. We should have the edge here. We really should. Walk this way. Do it. Do it now. No. I was really hoping Katarina's gonna walk this way. I was looking for a moment like she was going to. Didn't quite go that way. And unfortunately, my team is beginning to fight a little bit here before I have my Deceive back up. It's okay, though. And let's see if the red's actually here. It might just. It is. Nice. So I'll go ahead and take that for ourselves. Bring it over here. Oops. And I could smite this here, but I really don't need to. I've got lifesteal and stuff, and hello. Time to leave. Yeah, Quinn, she's thinking the exact same thing I was thinking when I saw her when she saw me. <laughs> I'm thinking, oh shit, there's Quinn. Her team's probably with her. I should get out of here. And she probably thought, oh hey, it's Jake. I should probably just get the fuck out because this guy's 5 0. Or 7 0, actually, now. Man, I'm, I got a really good scoreline for a game that's really, really behind for us. It's kind of weird when that happens. It's because I'm getting all the kills, though, man. I haven't given any assists off. I only got one assist. But our team is doing exactly what they need to to catch up. They're just letting me carry them. They're not making too many mistakes. They're just letting the game play out and letting me make some plays and trying to take advantage of their team making some mistakes here and there. And that's really good. So Vayne and Quinn are looking like they're going bot lane here. And that should give us the opportunity to push mid if we want to. I think so, at least. Because if they're all grouping bottom, this should be an opportunity for us to pressure. Katarina's not here as well. This is an open lane. No one is here to defend this. It's a really good out rotation, I think, for us. Look at that. Free damage in the turret. And we might be able to finish it, too. Before they finish ours on mid lane. So that's really, really good for us. And there you go. That's finished. I wanted to go for Vayne there, but of course, we don't see their team. And when you don't see them, it's, it's safe to assume they're going to be right next to their AD carry. That's often a good assumption. And I'll just stealth here before I get taking too much damage. GP all here is going to hurt a little bit, but it's no big deal. We can hit up this ward and actually life steal from it. Or maybe not so much. Huh. Did they change that? And actually, we're in trouble here. My alt here. Okay. And I'm trying to go an unpredictable way here. Okay. I think I might be alright. Ooh, no, Quinn just saw me. Yeah, unfortunately, I'm not going to get out of that one. That's really unfortunate. But it looks like Echo might get some damage drawn to Quinn. Maybe not for the kill. Not quite, but he is going to get out just fine. But yeah, I used my ult there because I saw the Blitzcrank hook coming in. And I wanted to avoid that. So using my ultimate makes me untargetable for a moment. And that allowed me to avoid getting hit by the Blitzcrank hook. And then from there, as I said earlier in the game, whenever you're trying to get out of a situation that seems sticky, your best asset is to be unpredictable. Unfortunately, me being unpredictable didn't work out as it could have. But, but I mean, from here, I had really three choices. That way, this way, or that way. And unfortunately, I chose this way, which was, I think, the best option. But is Quinn still found me because she's Quinn. She's got that W. So it is what it is. I'm going to work towards getting a shiv next. I think the best strategy for me this game would be to split push. As our team, like, we have a decent team fight, but not really. Their team is probably going to excel if we group. So if I can just split and force them to come after me and chase me and stuff, I think we'll have actually a really uh, better... I think we'll have a better chance to win this game if I split and pressure the map and force them to send two. Because if they send one for me, I could probably 1v on anybody on their team except for maybe Vayne if she outplays me. So if they are forced to send two, that means my team could fight 4v3, at which point I think they will actually have the edge. And I know what you're doing here, Blitzcrank. It's not going to work. I'm not falling for that trick. But I'm going to need some help here mid lane. And I don't think I can just go into Vayne and hurt her myself. I need help. Otherwise, Blitzcrank will probably wreck me. So I'm just going to go ahead and just walk on in here. Clear up some of the minions myself. With that TP coming in, they got pretty scared off. So that worked out for us really nicely. 
and let's go ahead here and head over to my Krugs, I think. I want to slip bot lane. That's what I want to do. That is absolutely 110% what I want to do. I want to take out the Krugs. I want to take out my red buff, and I want to slip bot lane and get that tower. I want to split bot lane on my own and, oops, and get tower. That is what I want to do right now. Because that, I think, is what's going to set us up. You guys should group somewhere else. Because if they group somewhere else and they work together and that their team is forced to send two to deal with me, because Vayne, I think, I don't think she can handle me on her own, to be honest. I think she would need to have some help still. Because she went, like, she, she's pretty strong. If she gets the stun with, on me with the Condemn, she'll probably kill me. Otherwise, if I just don't line myself up to get stunned to the wall, I think I can take her. Especially if my smite comes up. So let's see here. Is Vayne still here? Until I see her, I don't really want to do anything. Just in case. Yeah, and there's why. So go and walk in behind her here, pop the box behind her, do as much damage as we can. She's actually gonna condemn the box. And I'll just go ahead and flash for the backstab. One to make sure I watched to make sure though the backstab would be available, because I think that extra damage did make a bit of a difference there. So I just didn't didn't rush it, just waited till to see make sure that the backstab cooldown was down. Because of course, as you can see, when you backstab something, a gauge goes around it. And that's how you know. I'm just trying to show that right now, but not quite getting the line up here to show that. God, these stupid minions keep turning around. That's eh, whatever. So our team actually managed to get a few kills on the in the middle of the fight here, or the middle of the game. And it looks like the Blitz fans got on too. This is what I'm talking about, man. You just gotta know how to line up your team for success. This game, our team was having a really tough time, but I managed to get farmed, get really big, and use our strengths to make sure we got the advantage. And look at that. Got ourselves a turret, got ourselves a free kill on Vayne. And now their team knows that Vayne cannot 1v1 me, especially if I have the drop on her. So they're going to have to send two after me from now on, but they also can't send three people or four people to deal with my mid lane, because <laughs> or not my mid lane, but my, the rest of my team, because the rest of my team is coordinated enough to actually do what they need to do to survive. You know, except for Thresh. Thresh died. But y you get what I'm saying. And I'll go ahead and steal their blue as well. I'll drop a ward here, and hello, Scrying Orb. And their team is not here yet. They might rotate and come after me, but I'm pretty quick. I am Shake after all. So let's go ahead and do some damage to this turret, and there's the Katarina. And there's the Quinn as well. And, okay. I was genuinely expecting Quinn to keep going after me because I did not go anywhere unpredictable. I just walked straight down the lane. But instead, she decided to back off. So that's going to work out for me very nicely. And hello. Come in this brush. Do it. Do it, you whore. All right, she's not going to do it. That's fine. I'll just go back. But, uh, oh yeah, random side note, by the way, guys. In the last videos I've been doing, uh, you know, whether it was the Katarina one, the, the uh, LeBlanc one, whatever, uh, the settings I had for my lighting and all that made me look kind of orange. A lot of people were commenting and talking about that. Uh, I didn't really see that as a problem, but a lot of people really didn't like that. So in this video, you might notice I look a little bit more purple. And what my point is by bringing this all up is really with the way my room is set up, from my, where my studio is and all that, I have really the choice of looking orange or looking purple. So here's me looking purple. Uh, if you want to see me looking orange, you haven't seen that, check out my last two videos. Or even the ones before that, I look kind of orange in that, those ones too. But specifically the uh, two mid lane videos being Katarina and LeBlanc, I look really orange. So yeah, check those out. And let me know what you prefer. Because I can look orange or I can look purple. And it's really up to you guys because I don't really have any other options, unfortunately, with the way my lights are set up in this room. there's just, that, Those are the options. So pick and choose your favorite. Maybe vote below. I don't know. Something like that. But <laughs> choose what you guys would rather. I look like, because frankly, I was leaning towards orange because the orange makes my acne look a little bit less uh, standout, I guess, if that makes sense. Whereas with the purple, I look a little bit more acne covered, but it is what it is. So yeah, definitely let me know what you guys think. My team is looking like they might get into a fight here, but I'm hoping they'll be careful. And I can just split. No fight, let me split. This is how we need to be playing this composition, with me playing Shaco and our team being laid out the way we are, gold-wise, distribution-wise, all that kind of stuff. Is I just need to be pushing and getting towers and pressing the map. And I'm just going to blink over here. And If you come in this brush, you're going to have a bad time. Okay, well, I can't retype. I can't dive her, because then she'll see me. But I will pop that shiv on her, my hydra as well. All right, my team seems to be holding off decently well. I don't know where Quinn went off to, though. And our ally did get slain. We lost our Kale. That's unfortunate. I'm actually going to try and hop the wall here and see if I can join the fight, because it looks like their team might be diving. They are, in fact, diving. If I can get over there and maybe help, that'd be good, because Draven's on the way. I think maybe me and him can 3v2. It's possible. But Quinn might show up, and that would make things way more complicated. And they might have a ward here as well, which would make things even further complicated. So this is, this is a tricky situation. And how long does this make me stealth for? Does it say? 4.5 seconds? I, I don't know if that's longer or not than it used to be. I feel like it is longer, but I'm not sure. And hold on. 
please. Oh, man, if we canceled that, that would be really good for us. All right, well, what I'm going to do then is I'm just going to walk bot lane here and see if I can pressure the tower some more. And I'm going to keep note here that explosive uh, camp is there. Or not camp, but plant. Because I might use that. And hello, there's a fight here. Let's pop a box here. We're going to try and get Draven to run this way. And this might work out for us. See, I, I really want to kill Quinn here, but I'm blinded, and I know their team's right there. Yeah, this is not going to be good if I went too greedy there. I got to be so careful about how I, how I pick targets, right? Because if I, if I fuck up and I die, that's barren for them. My bad there, man. I think I should have been quicker to help him, though. I think I was unaware of him getting caught out, and I should have been there quicker. And let's go ahead and fight this Katarina. That's a really good idea here. I'm on the way. There we go. Managed to finish her off midair. Man, that looks hilarious. Katarina getting stabbed up the butt as she's flying over. Nice. All right, so let's go ahead here with that. Knowing their team is all bot side right now, we can probably pretty easily push up this mid wave and then rotate into their top jungle and maybe get some wards down, maybe take some camps. Just do something, right? Get something done. Because we know they're all bot side. So, yep, getting this free scrying orb. We're going to take their raptors for free. All the free shit. I like that. And if their team's still rotating, maybe we can beat them to the punch and get to this top turret. Maybe take that as well. We'll see. Um, by the way, I didn't mention this, but I have a BF sword because I'm thinking I want to go for the Infinity Edge. Uh, wow, that hurts. Does he have Infinity Edge? He does. No wonder it hurts. See, I want to be like GP and I want to I want to do damage like that. Ouch. Can I blink? I can. Nice. I wanted to get close enough to the wall to make sure that I would actually be able to and I just knocked Thresh. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. I am so sorry. Don't worry, I'll place a box on to help you. This fight's actually kind of going good for us, but not really. <laughs> Dude, I'm so sorry. <laughs> that was hilarious, though. I feel so bad about that. I almost got him killed. <laughs> that was entirely my bad. I was just like, hey, explosive thing. Let's use that. All good, man. Yeah, it's all good. But yeah, I was just thinking, like, hey, this thing's explosive, and I could use this. Like, a zig satchel charge. This will be fun. Let's do that. And then, you know, shit hits the fan, and things go badly. Uh, what should my next item be? I'm thinking Dust Blade could be kind of fun. I'm thinking Ghost Blade could be kind of fun. I'm not really sure, though, what makes the most sense. We'll figure it out, though. But you'll notice, though, full damage Shaco is how I like to roll. It definitely works really well for me. Because I think I know how to play safe enough to just kind of look for picks. And Thresh wants to come down here with Draven. Probably in our best interest. So I'm going to take out these little ones. And yeah, you can see with this Tiamat, man, the little ones just get completely destroyed. Even though it's not the Tiamat anymore, it's still the Hydra. But it's still the same concept, so it's really good for us. So we're going to take out the red buff here. And it looks like our team's grouping mid. I want to split and, like, pressure the map in that way, because that was what was working really well for us, but none of the waves are in the position to do that right now. And that's not going to hit. Uh, Quinn, I think, is on her own, though, so if I could find her trying to rotate or something like that, that'd be really, really good for us. She's not a dragon, is she? No. Elder Dragon's next. Oh, and hello, Scrying Orb. That needs to be taken care of. Alright, so there's Quinn. Is she going to farm mid lane? Uh, hello. I think we might be able to get the shiv on her. Not quite. She did walk away a little bit too far. But once you get that shiv down, man, if you can just... Oop, hello. Pop my ult here. And flash. Can I get away? Alright, looks like... Actually, Katarina did go down to Echo, so nice job there. But Echo is going to go down as well. And, I mean... I mean, our box is doing some nice work to Vayne, but it's just... It's not enough. Let's just pop the wall here. Unfortunately, Thresh is going to be the fodder for this one. And if you go into the fear here, you might have a bad time. You didn't get feared. Why didn't you get feared? I'm so sad now. Why didn't you get feared? Damn, that's, un that's so unfortunate. Like, I know it's because she uh, used her vault off of me and was out of range, but, like, she was so close. And during the vaulting portion of that, why didn't the box just trigger and cancel that, right? That's what I was hoping would happen, but it just didn't quite happen that way. That's unfortunate. Uh, I think I need to get GA, to be honest. But at the same time, I don't really want to get GA. I want to hard carry this game, and to hard carry, I need to not die and be doing as maximum damage as I can. And I think they're doing Baron right now, by the way, but we can't really do anything about that, unfortunately. Yep, there's the Baron. That's really, that's really shitty. So I'm thinking maybe, eh, I don't know, there's just so many options that I don't know which one makes the most sense for us. Because, like, I don't know, like, all of their team does damage. It's not like I could just build, like, one magic resist item or one armor item and be fine. It's not really like that this game. Quinn's diving Draven. Damn, that damage. Draven's just so weak compared to her. And yeah, Dustblade would be really good for us, but at the same time, would it really be the best option? I think GA is the way to go. I hate to say it, but I feel like I need GA this game to make sure that if I do make a mistake, it's not the end of the world. Because I'm not that good of a player, man. I make mistakes all the time, and I need to make sure that if I do make a mistake, our team doesn't get punished for it too much. 
Now, GB's taking this turret here, and I think it's going to go down before I could do or say anything about it, but his barrels just got used. So maybe... No, he's not going to come close enough. Drat. If he came closer, I could have potentially done some damage to him, and that's going to hurt if it hits, but it did not. Nice. Wow. Okay, Draven's really freaking behind. And he is going to live, though. I got a nice heal out of that, too. All right. I mean, Echo's going in here. And this is looking like it's decent for us, but we're not getting anything to actually lock these people down. I need to split push, man. Like, I can't help my team. This is the thing. I really want to be here and help my team, but I think I need to be split pushing and just being annoying. I think that's how I'm going to win this game. Just stall as best as you can. I got to split. Like, there's just, there's nothing to gain from me joining this bloodbath of my team dying. I'm Shaco. It's, I'm not a team fighting champion. This is not how I'm going to be helping. Like, yeah, we're going to lose in hip, but I can't change that. What I might be able to change is maybe I'll be able to get this turret top lane and maybe... I mean, their team's probably not going to go for the win here, but if they do, I can go back and maybe pick some people off. But I'll keep my eye on the minimap, making sure of that. And... Okay, we got him. It took everything we had, but we got Bane. And it looks like their team's still going, so I'm going to go back. Because, yeah, they are still going for it. Nope, no, they're backing off. All right, that should mean I can... Yeah, they don't really have a mini wave to work with, so that means I should be able to get this turret here. And it looks like they got a kill on GP. All right, nice. That's really good for us, because that means there's two threats down, and they only have two left. Blitzcrank's not really a threat, of course. At least in my book. My book of threats. And hello. You can see me. That is not fun at all to play against. And I'm going to die because of it, but my box... Yes! <laughs> Not my box, my damn clone destroyed her. Yeah, that's what you get, you bitch. That's what you get for playing Quinn against me. But damn, she has such an advantage over me because she can smite me, and that gives her vision of me. Not to mention, she also has that W so she can stalk me down if I am not stealth. She's, and she has so many freaking ways to be good against Shaco, and yet I'm still pulling out the kills here and there. Alright, so with that, I'm thinking I kind of want to get Oracle's Alteration. The reason I'm thinking that'd be really good for us is because, although I like warding and Senate Vision and all that, when I get blinded by Quinn, having that actually allows me to see whereabouts the champions are. Even if I can't target them, if I get blinded, I can pop that and I can still see whereabouts they are because I'll see the red outline. So that'd be, kind of, that'd be kind of helpful. Not to mention allow me to clear up wards and see if people can see me on a ward or something like that if I'm not stealth at that point in time. And I'll also pick up Blixer of Wrath here for the extra bit of damage. And I think with that, I mean, yeah, we lost the mid inhibitor. We didn't actually take any damage on these, though. I think this game is still doable. I'm going to split bot lane here. Our Baron's up here in a three and a half. I want to split top lane and get this turret. I also want to go mid lane get this turret. I also want to go bot lane. I mean, there's just so many things I got to take myself because I don't think our team's in a position to be able to do those things themselves. And actually, what's this? Oh, man, drags up 20 seconds here. I'm going to go ahead and ping that twice. Make sure my team's aware that, hey, that's a thing. Really soon here. Let's make sure we're ready for that. Quinn is farming bot lane. I think this might be my chance. Might. Their team's grouping top, actually. Where are you at, Quinn? Hello. Found you. Alright, this is not looking as good for us anymore. But we managed to get Blitzcrank to get hooked. Alright, got three boxes set up now. That's what you want. We got to get Katarina. That's really good. I'm just going to stealth here. He's not going to be able to see me. Pop a box here just in case they go that way. Thresh looks like he might get hooked here, though. Good flash. He really needed to flash there. If he didn't, I think he probably would have died by Vayne. But it looks like my team managed to get a kill, though, on that Katarina, though. And looking like they might get GP as well. If they do, that'd be so, so, so good for us. But we gotta make sure we defend mid. I think GP has that, but I might be wrong. It looks like they do have GP. Nice. And I'll shiv this to make sure that dies. Team to get those other two. And I think this last one's just gonna have to die to turret. I can't do anything about that one. But at least we're defending this slowly but gradually. And Quinn's here as well. This is really looking bad for us. We need teammates here. It's three versus one, but if my team shows up, we can do this. We get the van. There we go. There's one. There's the kill on the Quinn. Can we get the Blitzcrank now? Blitzcrank's already dead. All right. Very nice. And with that, we should be able to go over here and take out the Elder Dragon, actually. Because Katarina might come in here and try and take it. I'm going to let my team know I have no smite for a while because I did use it there to help kill those two. But yeah, like with all of us hitting this, I think we can do this. Our mid inhibitor is down, so those are doing some damage to our Nexus turrets here pretty soon, but if we get this Elder Dragon, and then go back, we'll be in a good spot. And I will actually get the secure on it, even though I don't have Smite. But yeah, we gotta make sure we don't lose these Nexus turrets. That's really important. Go ahead and refresh this, and get on the map here. The Super Minion did die. Okay. So 
I think our best strategy here would be to just to try and get a turret here before they're back up. Unfortunately, we only have 20 seconds though to work with, and we have super minions in our base. So I don't think we have yet time to get a turret, but that would be the best case scenario if we could. Uh, yeah, let's just walk down mid lane here and try and maybe pick somebody, maybe just get some pressure, maybe just push the mid, hit, uh, mid minions back, these super minions. You know, do what we can, really. And it looks like GP's fighting up Echo bot lane. I want to see if their red's up. I'm going to try and angle this correctly. Is that how it works? Their red is up. And hi, Blitzcrank. Uh-oh. Alright, that could have been really bad. I thought Blitzcrank might hook that, so I waited for it, and then eventually he did hook, and I managed to use the lantern just in the nick of time to get out. And that's an awkward ward. <laughs> I'll clear these out. I really don't need the gold at this point, but I'd rather take them and not have them on the map for them to take. If I know my teammates aren't going for them at that point in time. If that makes sense? I feel like it should make some sense. Okay, so we have the dragon buff. Yeah, get a GA. If you're playing Kale and you have your ult, like, get a GA. That'd be really good for you. Their team appears to be grouping around Baron. I think they want that Baron, but if we pressure... Oh, hold on. GP's on his own. GP's all on his own. Alright, well, Vayne's going in. Probably not the best use for all. Go ahead and ship her and just walk away. No one's getting hooked, luckily. That's good. Good, good, good. Kale's on the way. Go ahead and blitz Blitzcrank a little bit here. And I think I'm going to get condemned here, so I'm just going to pop my ult and send my ult into the battle here. And if it gets exploded, it's going to do some nice damage. So there we go. Good start for us. And let's see. Is there anybody in this area? i got to be careful here. I don't want to overcommit and get myself killed. Even though I have GA, I don't want to do that. Let's go ahead and ship up these guys. Here's some nice damage to GP. Okay, and with their blitz crank being down, it's just one person. I realize that but we have double. We have wait. Is that double or triple? I think we have tr double GA only. I don't think Kale has hers yet. And we also have the dragon buff for a little bit longer, just a tad bit longer. I think this turret should be doable. It should be. All right, dragon buff is now out. But we still have 20 seconds on blitz crank. We still have double GA. I don't think they have any GAs to work with here. They don't. So that means we should have the edge here. As long as we do this in time. That's some decent damage from Vanmo. We just need to be able to hit this turret, but we just can't be we can't seem to be able to do it. Alright. With all that, I don't think we have enough pressure now to put Scrank back up to try this anymore. Let's back off here. I'm gonna smite the big raptor just for the health. And I'll clear those all up really nicely and quick. Dragons get that ranch red buff for them. That's gonna be really good. Stealing that from them. We gotta be so careful though, because their team's on the way. Uh, if we set up here. Uh, actually, we should get out. This is not looking good anymore. Oh, Echo's going in, though. Ooh, nice hourglass, though, because it's going to give the shield here in a moment. Can we get Vayne? Oh, she's so low. The Draven ult, please. Oh, yeah, we got her. Kale's AoE. Nice. Okay. And I, I think I can just take this lantern here. Looks like Blitzcrank should be able to be pursued. All right. I'm going to get killed actually by something. I don't know what, but I'm going to pop my GA. And we managed to get four kills. Holy crap. The GA is really coming in handy here. All right. And I don't think we can tank this, but somebody else can. And that should be the mid inhibitor tower for us. Let's go ahead and get that. And counter is look for those resets. Be careful of that. Pop this so that she gets feared, hopefully. Yes, we got her. Nice. So let's be the kill for Echo. And that looks like it's going to be the game. I mean, all their teams down. We've only lost Thresh. Holy crap. What a hard fought game. But we managed to do it in the end. Holy. I haven't played a game this difficult in a while, man. Or at least a game that was this close. We managed to pull back. This was such a good match. Hopefully you guys liked this today. If you did, make sure to drop that like rating. It helps with the channel so, so, so much, of course, as you guys should know. And subscribe for more videos coming out soon. I can't promise they'll be as good of a video as this one, but man, I'll, be, I'll definitely be trying. So hopefully you guys liked it, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace out.